Shalom, Salam. Greetings, brethren and sisters. I'm the sloth man on this blessed evening um, in the dungeon, just trying to uh, get a change of atmosphere down here to uh, get a proper meditation. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Right now, I'd like to kind of build upon the basic concept and just kind of build a basic foundation on unity. That means unity amongst all people of all gender. I guess there's only really two, two options between, you know, male and female as far as gender. But, you know, gender, all color people, all races, all religions as one. And this goes back to the original Shema prayer and from the ancient Hebrew Israelites um, in parallel to the modern Jewish prayer, you know, Orthodox Jewish prayer, or Judaic prayer from the Torah. But the original Hebraic or Hebrew Israelite prayer uh, of the original Shema prayer, acknowledging, you know, Hero Israel, you know, from De the book of Deuteronomy, Hero Israel, the Lord God, your God, Elohim, is one Lord, one God. You know, in the ancient Hebrew, you know, Shema Israel, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Aha, your God is one. You know, Yahweh Jah. You know, Elohim is one God, one Elohim. He's unified. Even the words of Yeshua or Yehoshua himself. Yehoshua, a.k.a. Jesus Christ, the Messiah, reveals that to us. He reveals that to us in his gospel. He, he revealed that in that time to his followers and then to his disciples, bringing up the original Shema prayer of those, those original Judaic and Hebraic roots of his own culture and of, you know, the word of Almighty God, you know, from the original Torah, from the book of Deuteronomy, you know, Shema Israel, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Ahad, and all due respect to Orthodox uh, Judaism, you know, that will acknowledge, you know, Yahweh or Jehovah God is the name, you know, Hashem Eloheinu, Hashem Ahad. And the word Ahad in the original Hebrew meaning unified, you know, one, the oneness, the unification. Uh, in parallel to uh, the Arabic tongue, you know, Tawid, you know, in Hebrew, Ahad, and Arabic, Tawid, and we know from basic knowledge going back to Abraham, the sons of Abraham were first Ishmael and Isaac. Um, his covenant, according to the original Torah and the actual you know, word of Elohim, the word of Almighty God, um, reveals that, yeah, his covenant is through Abraham, through Isaac, you know, and through Yaakov, through Jacob, you know, through Israel. But Ishmael was his first son, and Ishmael was also blessed and anointed and Allah or Elohim <clears throat> as some refer to as Yahweh Jah you know made a promise Yahweh made a promise through you know Abraham's first son Ishmael that he would once again you know bring that truth and revelation through his seed so both sons of Abraham were blessed and anointed in, in similar but different ways they were half brothers and they played together in harmony they, they loved each other. They played together in harmony. It was Abraham's first wife, Sarah, that became envious, became jealous. So uh, this may actually be a two-part segment. I'm letting the flow of my words, my consciousness, um, Jah Spirit, you know, the Ruach Holy Spirit, Ruach HaKadosh, flow of the actual Holy Spirit to reveal this truth right now. Um, but basically, yes, yeah, Sarah became envious and jealous, caught up in a lot of petty stuff. And Abraham, the true righteous man, the foundation of all Abrahamic faith from ancient Judaism or the ancient Hebrew Israelite faith, the original Judaic faith or, you know, true original Orthodox Judaism, uh, Christianity. And Islam, and let's not forget Rastafari. You know, Rastafari movement is a resurrection of the Tawahedo faith. You know, from the original, you know, uh, messianic 
um, the Messianic Hebrew faith or true Orthodox Judaic Christian faith, you know, based off the Ethiopian Orthodox uh, Tawahado Temple. But we'll get to that later, the resurrection of that being Rastafari. But all the Abrahamic faith, you know, um, Judaism, Christianity, Islam, Rastafari, whatever, um, basically stems from these things, okay? Stems from uh, Abraham, the man of true faith, true submission, true reverence to the Most High, Yahweh, Jah, and to Allah, you know, the creator of heaven and earth, the sovereign Lord of all worlds throughout the universe, of all distant worlds, all distant planets throughout the galaxy, from galaxy to galaxy, throughout dimensions, throughout space and time, you know, all creation. But let's get back to Mother Earth. All right. So anyway, um, I guess, you know, according to scripture, excuse me, according to scripture, it wasn't until uh, Genesis chapter 25, you know, where Abraham marries his third wife, Keturah, the Ethiopian woman, Keturah, you know, to, you know, foreshadow that connection with ancient Israel and uh, Ethiopia, going back to the original roots of all civilization upon earth. But we'll get we'll get into that later. That ties in with the further revelation of his imperial majesty you know, and the further revelation of Rastafari. But um, going back to unification, you know, going back to uh, where I left off with Abraham and his first wife, Sarah, and his sons, Ishmael and Isaac. Um, you know, out of jealousy and envy, Abraham had to put up with his wife's fury, somehow manipulated the situation and cast out her own female slave, the Egyptian slave, uh, Hagar, with her own son, Abraham's own biological son, Ishmael. You know, um, out of jealousy and hatred, cast them out because she didn't like their sons playing together. She became jealous. She's like, oh, well, you know, God fulfilled, you know, Almighty God, Elohim, fulfilled his promise with me. And therefore, I'm good. I have my son, my own flesh and blood, and I don't want this other son anymore. I don't like our sons playing together over some petty stuff. When, it, according to scripture, according to Jah word, it was her idea. It was Sarah's idea for Abraham to go into her female slave to have sexual intercourse with her just because she lost patience. She lost faith. You know, the Most High Jah gave Abraham a promise that she would bear a son at an old age, but she, she lost faith. She didn't have the endurance. But we're going to wrap it up right there. Um, like I said, this will be a two-part segment, so... Uh, Stay tuned. Shalom.